Hello there everyone. This video, I'm going to show you how to bypass your iCloud lock device or iPhone 5S up to iPhone 10 using your Windows PC. So in my previous video, I showed you how to do it in your Mac PC or in your MacBook. Now for those who don't have one, you can do it through this procedure. So let's start. What you're going to need is to download first this three software. So the Windows tool bypass the Belena Etcher and the Boot Rain image. So I'm going to show you where to download these files and provide it in the link below. So after you download these files, you're also going to need a 16 or an 8 gigabyte flash drive to mount the Boot Rain image. So what the Boot Rain image does is um, run a virtual uh, check rain environment inside um, your Windows BIOS. So let's start um, and um, begin the um, image to be burned um, or mounted on the USB drive. So I have already inserted my USB drive. Um, so we're going to open Balena Etcher now and you click select image. You just select your boot train image and mount it. So it's there, it's ready mounted. And then you select your target and then make sure that you are selecting the correct flash drive. So I've already done this procedure, so I will not repeat this again. So you just need to click continue and it will take usually five minutes to complete for the process to complete. So after that, um, where after you're burned or you've, you've already mounted your image in the USB drive, you're now going to restart or turn off your PC so that we can now run Boot Train. So I'm going to shut this down now. So while waiting for my PC to boot, um, we're going to now run or open your, your, your PC into a boot image. So if you don't know how to do this, um, for starters, you're just going to have to click um, F9 or F1 in your um, keyboards or F2. So depending on your BIOS, but for my case, it's F9 for me to be able to um, boot using the boot image selection. So after clicking F9, you're going to be presented with these options. So what I did was to use the flash drive and hit enter. So now you're going to see the boot train um, interface. So this boot train interface, um, you just have to select the first line there on top, which is will avoid Linux. Um, 5.4.7 x84 or 86 and hit enter it will run a couple of codes there just wait for the process to complete until you reach this screen there you go so once you reach this screen let me just Fix my camera. Crap. Anyway, so until you reach the screen, um, it will ask you for login details. So the login details are already there. It says here void Linux, and the password will be. Um, sorry, the user will be root or Amon, Anon. And the password would be void Linux. So let me just type that here. There you go. I, I type it, then hit enter. Now I will ask for a password and you just type in void. Why is it not typing? Hold on. Let me do that again. I think I typed it incorrectly. Password would be void. L I N U X. The cursor will not move when you enter the password. Okay, so once it shows um, logged in, so there that means you're already logged in. So now you're going to run CheckRain by typing in sudo su uh, do 
um, space check rain. All right, sudo check rain. And there you go. It will run this interface or this GUI. So all you need to do here, uh, once you are on this interface, is to select and your options and to prepare your iPhone. So my iPhone, my iCloud lock phone is here and I already connected it. So um, um, it's asking me to choose network and then to start the jailbreak process. I mean the activation process. So let me show you that it's locked. So there, it's an activation locked. So once you connected this device, um, you're gonna click on um, options, hold on. So once you connected your device, you're gonna need to put your iPhone in recovery mode. So to do that, you're gonna have to turn off the phone and then click on um, the power button and the uh, um, volume down button. So turn it off and then press the um, power button and the volume down button all together for you to enter in recovery mode. I already did that while I paused the video because I won't be able to hold my camera. So once you do that, it will detect here that your device is now connected. So once your device is connected, you're just gonna have to show, show, um, to start the process. But before that, I made sure that it's in the verbose mode I like that I like that because I want to see all the scripts that are running in my phone so when you do that you just have to click start and just follow these instructions before you hit the start so press the hold inside again but this time you're gonna have to release the power button after four seconds so once you're ready you're gonna hit start so let's hit start and do that here Start. Okay, now I'm holding the power and the volume button and then releasing the power button while still holding the volume down for us to enter into DFU mode. So we've entered DFU successfully and it should be running in some scripts on your iPhone. So let me just zoom in. It's, it may take a while for it to respond, but there you go. It's now running some scripts. Okay, it should be good. And it should boot up. Okay, so we're done. So after we're done, you're gonna close the program and then reboot your PC so that we can go back to the Windows screen. So now um, you're gonna need to, um, once your PC is booted up, you see my phone is still locked, still um, with an activation lock. So let me just put the phone here. You're gonna need to open the file Windows One Key Bypass Apple Tag um, folder, and then you double click on Start. It will open up this interface. So the instructions there says for 13.2.3, you gotta select option one, and then for 13.3 and up, you're gonna select option two. So in our case, it's option two because it's 13.4. So you just need to click option two or type in option two there. Hit enter. It will run some scripts. Connection established. And you notice that my phone here is still in the iCloud lock state. And on the second window, there are two windows that will pop out. This one 
it says connection established. That means you are connected. And then on the other window, it will show there if you would like to update cache key. So meaning to say if you would like to proceed. So you just type Y in there, and then hit enter. And I will do the magic. Okay. So it shows their connection closed. So once it's done, um, you just go back to your phone and it should now be unlocked. All right. So you can see here that my setup has been removed and I'm back to my phone. There you go. Thank you. Hope you liked the video. Please hit subscribe. Bye-bye.